Hello everyone, welcome to the course on computer aided drug design. We will talk little bit on numerical methods, differential equations, predominantly ordinary differential equations. Uh, I am not going to spend too much time on these numerical methods because uh, that itself can be a separate course on its own. But um, we will come across numerical methods uh, in uh, drug discovery because uh, like I mentioned, um, if you are looking at uh, minima, if you are going to look at uh, minima then uh, we need to think that uh, dy okay, by dx should be equal to 0 and d square y by dx square should be greater than 0. So, um, dy by dx is calculated okay, which we looked at in the previous class. Okay, so, uh, we need to understand uh, how the computers use uh, numerical techniques to calculate that. If it is an analytical solution then uh, it is uh, quite simple. For example, if you have y is equal to x square, um, so dy by dx is equal to 2x, we must have studied in our uh, school. Okay. But then uh, imagine a function which has got uh, very complicated um, independent variables numeric uh, in the numerator and the denominator. So, it is not possible to do analytically and for computers they have to calculate uh, these uh, dy by dx um, okay, using numerical techniques. So, like uh, in our um, um, force field method we have uh, the distance or the bond length, bond angle, bond torsion. So, we have three um, independent uh, variables which needs to be um, okay, adjusted so that the total energy which is on the left hand side becomes the minimum. Um, so, we will have many um, d f by d x, d f by d y, d f by d z to be calculated. Uh, so, if it is analytical as I said it is easy like y is equal to x square means we can calculate d y by d x is equal to 2 x. Otherwise, uh, we need to do it numerically. So, estimating the derivative of a mathematical function that is called finite different approximation. So, the simplest one is a two point estimation to compute the slope at the point dy by dx as you know is uh, approximated to delta y by delta x okay, which is equal to y x plus h minus y x uh, divided by h actually this is uh, it will come out like that. Um, so, h uh, is the small uh, distance. So, you estimate the function y at x plus h, then you estimate the function at y x. So, you take the difference divide by h here as you can see here. So, if this is your function going like that. Okay. So, I want to calculate um, the slope at this place. So, the approximation here is you calculate uh, the function at x point x, you calculate the function at uh, x plus h and then uh, you take the difference divided by h. Actually that is the slope, this distance divided by this distance that is the approximated to the slope here. Um, as you can see if h is smaller and smaller uh, this uh, becomes the exact slope, but if uh, x is larger and larger you see the difference here. Okay? So, that is the error that comes in. Uh, so, we need to keep a very small h so that we get a very good uh, approximation for uh, dy by dx at this point x okay, at this point x. Okay. Uh, but if you are going to keep a very small h, you are going to do too much of uh, computation. So, the computation effort also increases. So, this is the simplest method. So, there are more uh, slightly more uh, uh, involved method which does not require too much calculation, but still can get a better approximation of the slope here. Okay. So, um, as you can see here, um, you are approximating the slope at this uh, place okay, by taking the function at x plus h and um, calculating the function at f x uh, subtracting and then dividing by the distance h. Okay. This is called the finite difference method, this is called the forward method, there is also a backward method, but this is called the forward method. Um, so, uh, like I said if you have the analytical solution possible then it is most accurate otherwise uh, in most of the cases it is not possible to have analytical solution. So, um, we use the numerical method for uh, estimating the dy by dx. Okay. Uh, there is another method that is called centered difference formula that means um, you do x plus h, x minus h and then divide by 2 h. Okay. So, this is x plus h 
and then we have the x uh, we have the x plus h here we have the x here and suppose you have x minus h here okay so you calculate at x minus h so this difference will be 2 h okay so this is at f function of x h and this is at a function at x minus h and this difference is 2 h so um, you do the same uh, calculation dy by dx is equal to y at x plus h minus y at x minus h divided by 2 h this is called the center difference so, this is slightly more accurate than the forward difference whereas in the forward difference we take uh, this point and this point um, values subtract by just take the difference and divide by h whereas in the center difference we take here and here and then divide by 2 h okay so this is like taking an average then there are higher order, order methods like i said um, these methods like i showed you the forward difference center difference um, have error of the order of h square so um, if h is small error will be corresponding x square so if i divide h one tenth then error also will become one hundredth of that uh, higher order methods this is there is one method which is called a five point method as you can see here okay this is called a five point method okay so you calculate the function at 2 h minus 2 h h and minus h and then you use this formula um, and then divide by 12 h to calculate the uh, the derivative first derivative okay so you calculate uh, the uh, function at um, 2 h minus 2 h then again h minus h okay and then um, this has an error of the order of h power 4 okay this has an order of h power 4 okay um, so there is another method that is called the backward difference method so just like uh, we take uh, in the first case x plus h and x minus h we take x and x minus h okay so it's called the backward difference method as you can see here uh, we take x plus h and x here we take uh, x and x minus h so that's why it's, this is called a backward difference method okay um, this also has the error of the order of h square just like the forward difference method okay um, so all these methods have errors in the order of h square and uh, this higher order methods where five point method has an error order of h power 4 so softwares generally use uh, higher order methods um, and instead of reducing the size of h higher order methods can be more accurate and give very good uh, estimation of the error values okay so um, let us um, look at this for example um, okay for example I have y is equal to x square dy by dx is equal to 2x okay so suppose I want to uh, find out at x is equal to 5 okay what do I do is the in the forward method what will I do um, the forward method I will calculate y at uh, x plus h suppose I take uh, h is equal to 0 0.01 okay if I take x is equal to 0 0.01 at uh, uh, 5 y is equal to x square so we can do it as a uh, Okay, so um, this is uh, at um, x plus h because it is x square we calculate a 8 plus uh, b 1 that is your h and this is at uh, x h so that is equal to um, 8 raised to the power 2 okay then what do we do is we take a difference the difference is this minus uh, this is the difference and then the divided by h okay so it comes to 10.01 but uh, whereas uh, if you take y is equal to x square okay 
and dy by dx is equal to 2x. So, at x is equal to 5 the answer will come out to be 10 that is the exact value. This is the exact value Okay, this is a numerical differentiation. Do you understand this? Okay, this is the exact value because uh, at 5 dy by dx is equal to 2x. So, I put a 2 into 5 that comes to 10. Okay, if I do numerical differentiation, what do I do? Um, I will take um, the y value at um, 5 plus 0 0.01 minus y value at 5 and then divided by h. Here I have taken h as 0 0.01. So, y at uh, uh, 5 plus uh, 0 0.01 is 25.10001. Uh, y at 5 is equal to 25, take the difference here and then I divide by the h that is 0 0.01. So, numerical differentiation um, gives me um, 10.01 uh, whereas the exact is 10. So, you see there is a small error of 0 0.01. Uh, if I increase the uh, error, I mean sorry if I increase the step length. Um, Point zero two. It's become point ten point zero two. The error has increased. Um, so if I increase it to point one, for example, so the error has become. See, as you can see, uh, the numerical differentiation gives ten point one, whereas the exact value doesn't change. It's ten. So you can see the um, numerical gives uh, almost ten percent error. Okay. So, if I put a 0 1 uh, you get a 1 percent error. So, if the step length is 0 0.01 I get 1 percent error, if the step length is 0.1 I get 10 percent error. So, if I make it still smaller uh, okay, I get uh, almost 0.1 percent error. So, depending upon the step length uh, the error uh, keeps coming down okay, as you can see. So, if I keep a 0 0.01 I get 1 percent error, 0 0.1 I get 10 percent error, 0 0.001 it gets 0 0.1 percent error okay, for this type of function y is equal to x square. So, because x square um, it is uh, it's going to raise in a quadratic fashion, so the dy by dx can change dramatically. Okay. Um, again uh, it, it will not be constant all the time because um, if I take uh, say at x is equal to 10 I want to find out. Okay. So, it can change depending upon uh, um, which point I am trying to estimate uh, the dy by dx. So, uh, as you can see uh, the error depends upon the step length h. Okay. You can have a 1 percent error, you can have 10 percent error, um, larger the step length uh, you can differentiate things faster. So, the computational time is less, but the error will keep adding and adding and adding which is very dangerous. Smaller the step length uh, the error will be um, very less, but you are going to have more computational. See this is error is only 0.1 percent even that could be higher. Okay, so, ideally I may go into 0.0005, okay, so the error is uh, um, 0 0.05 percent, okay, so maybe that is okay or uh, 0.0001 okay so the error is uh, okay 0 0.01 percent so but look at the step length so 0 0.301 so if i want to calculate a dy by dx uh, over a p over a distance of uh, um, 0 to 10 that means uh, for example if i want to calculate a distance of 0 to 10 uh, then number of calculations uh, will be almost 100000 1 lakh so, a lot of calculations. Okay. So, if the step length is very small the number of uh, calculations will also increase, okay. but if step length is small your error also will be less. For example, if you look at this 0 0.0001 my error is 0 0.01 percent in my uh, different dy by dx whereas, uh, if I go to 0 0.01 my error becomes 1 percent which is too much you have to have about 0.1 percent error is very good to have, but um, your step length also will keep uh, I mean number of uh, calculations also keep increasing. 
So, that is the main uh, um, I mean point which you need to note when you are doing numerical uh, differentiation or for example, even numerical integration the step length determines the error and the step length also determines the number of uh, calculations we have to do. So, there are methods which uh, uh, use reasonably small or reasonably big step length, but uh, more accurate calculations. For example, if you look at uh, the 5 point method for the, for the first derivative okay, where uh, it uses x plus 2 h plus this and so on. So, the y is calculated 5 different uh, places. Okay. So, the error they say is in the order of h power 4. Okay. Uh, we can try that also uh, point 0 0.01 as it says. Okay. Uh, so, we say 5 um, it is calculated as x plus 2 h. So, it is x square is your problem. So, we can calculate uh, plus um, 2 into h okay. then uh, you calculate at x plus h that is uh, open bracket x plus So, we have uh, at uh, x plus um, 2 h then x plus h then x minus h x uh, minus uh, h then x minus 2 h minus 2 into So, this uh, comes to equal to minus this plus 8 into plus this minus 8 into plus this plus this divided by open bracket 12 into um, square coming into all these places which I missed out Um, I missed out that square term that is why. Okay, so, you calculate uh, at uh, x plus 2 h then you calculate x plus h then you calculate x minus h then you calculate x minus uh, 2 h okay, then you use this formula x plus 2 h that is minus of plus 8 into x plus h minus 8 into x minus h y into minus 2 h divided by 12 h. So, we got 10 whereas, if you use a simple forward uh, differential the simple uh, method you get 10.01 um, whereas, the 5 point method gives you 10 as which is exactly matching with your answer. Okay, so, uh, if I make it as a point 1 for example, for example, if I make uh, the step length uh, very large okay, as you can see again uh, the simple method gives you um, simple uh, 2 point method gives error 10 percent error whereas, the 5 point method is still very good. Okay. So, you still get very good answer with the 5 point method when compared to the 
one point method okay. So, the very good step lengths can be uh, included okay with respect to um, the 5 point method that is the beauty of uh, this type of method. So, we can uh, uh, improve the on the error, but at the same time have a reasonably large h value um, the step length um, so that we get a reasonably good dy by dx. So, this numerical differentiation is very very important which is the backbone in uh, many of the um, conformational search algorithms. Um, when you start with the original conformation and then you want to reach uh, the conformation so that the energy is minimum. So, in order to achieve that like I said uh, dy um, the dy by dx has to be um, so, dy by dx has to be equal to 0 uh, and um, d square y by dx square has to be greater than 0. So, in order to calculate this dy by dx is equal to 0 um, many uh, differential equations have to be arrived at. So, um, generally uh, if the numerical methods are followed where um, you use this type of this is a first order approach 2 point estimation dy by dx is equal to y at x plus h minus y at x uh, um, divided by h okay divided by h and uh, um, you have the center difference that means you find out from x plus h and x minus h divided by 2 h or we have a 5 point method uh, which we follow that means we take um, at x plus 2 h x plus h x minus h x minus 2 h and then uh, divide by 12 h okay the errors are very 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 little here in this type of method or uh, there is a backward difference but again this also has a error of the order of h uh, square okay um, so as i showed you that the five point method like are always good um, which are better approximation of the difference uh, getting the um, differentiation done using numerical okay um, maintaining your h reasonably large okay these are these are needed for getting the uh, confirmation of uh, minimum energy confirmation okay where we use this type of dy by dx is equal to zero requirement okay um, so similarly we also have a numerical integration also okay for example uh, if dy by dx is equal to y square analytically what do we do we take this here take that here dy by y square is equal to dx integrating both sides minus 1 by y is equal to x plus constant okay. So, this um, we must have done in our uh, um, okay, final year school or even in your engineering first year and so on actually okay. So, if it is an analytical so life is easy, but then uh, if you have very complicated equation here okay, then uh, that is not possible. So, you may have dy by dx is equal to even function of uh, x and y very complicated equation. Then we have to solve this uh, um, numerically only and there are many methods numerical methods that are available um, which does this type of calculation okay. So, uh, we want to find out y at different points at m point n plus h n plus 2 h n plus 3 h like that we need to this is known as a numerical integration. So, there are many methods simple and very difficult methods for example, the easiest one is called the Euler's forward method. So, I know um, the value of um, y at x n ok I know the value of y or I know y n at x n ok like this this one I know. Now, I want to find out at x n plus 1 what is the value of y that is the question I am uh, trying to find out. So, there are many methods are there and the simplest is the Euler's forward method. So, what do we do? Um, that is uh, whatever we did numerical uh, differentiation here we are doing the numerical integration. So, we take uh, h here again h is the distance or the step length ok we calculate the function at x n y n here ok we calculate the function at this place ok at this place and then um, we get uh, the f of x n y n ok then uh, that is the slope like here and then multiply by h and then we say that is y n plus 1 ok this of course, uh, straightforward right. 
So, we have uh, the dy by dx sorry dy by dx is equal to f of uh, x y ok. So, what do we do? We take uh, delta y by delta x is equal to f of x y ok. So, delta y is nothing but y n plus 1 minus y n y n plus 1 and uh, delta x can be h f of uh, x n into y n. So, y n plus 1 is equal to um, y n plus h into f of x n y n. This is what uh, this is what is here given here you understand. So, we start uh, uh, from this approximation this is the simplest method. So, if I know um, the um, y value at x n value that is y, I know y n at x n I want to find out what is y n plus 1 at x n plus 1 ok this is my step length from x n to x n plus 1 this is my step length. So, what do I do? I calculate um, the function that is uh, the slope here ok because uh, that is this function is nothing but the slope here dy by dx. So, this is the reverse of the previous uh, numerical uh, differentiation and then I multiply by h here uh, h is my distance here ok. So, I get the y n plus 1. So, as again you can see this is called Euler's method and again as you can see here if h is small um, I am going to get a nice uh, y value. If the h is very large I may end up here whereas, the actual value could be here because if you have a graph like this turning upwards like this and then um, you take uh, this as a linear obviously, there is a difference that. So, h has to be small. Um, so, either uh, I can put small h or I can use different uh, methods and there are some very uh, very good method even with large h it can give a very good uh, um, approximation for y n plus 1 ok from the slope here ok. So, basically in this method you have the slope here we have the slope here and then we multiply by the h here um, and then add it with x n to get the y n plus 1 value. Okay, that is uh, called uh, the Euler's method. Euler's method is the simplest of all these methods. So, um, um, these two numerical integration and differentiation are very very important and um, we will uh, continue more on this topic and there are simple methods which uh, requires a very very small h to have very considerably low error value uh, whereas, there are other uh, um, higher order methods which can also take in larger uh, um, h, but still the errors can be smaller like I showed you in the numerical uh, difference differentiation here again uh, when we do numerical integration also as you can see if the h is large um, with the Euler's method you can have uh, so much error coming into picture, but there are other methods which uh, can address this type of problem in a better way. So, we will continue more on these numerical techniques uh, uh, in the next class also, but as I said uh, numerical methods is a big uh, course of its own um, I cannot cover the entire. So, I am just going to have only very fast uh, um, brief introduction to this uh, particular topic for you ok. So, we will continue more on this thank you very much.